A God of the gaps argument is an argument that has a formal logical structure that in logic is known as an argument from ignorance. It's an it's a informal fallacy. And it, arguments from ignorance have the following form. If I say cause A is not pr sufficient to produce effect X, and then I say therefore cause B must have produced X, but I have no independent evidence that cause B can produce X, then I've committed a, a fallacy of uh, arguing from ignorance. Because just because A isn't sufficient to produce the effect in question doesn't mean that some other cause did it. You have to have independent evidence that that other cause is capable of doing it. And the, um, that then becomes um, a god of the gaps argument when you say, well, various natural processes aren't sufficient to produce, say, the origin of the first life or the origin of the first animals in the history of life. And then if I were to say, therefore God did it, that would be a God of the gaps argument. It would be an argument from ignorance. But that's not how we're arguing when we make the case for intelligent design because we're adding an additional premise. We're saying that various kinds of natural processes are not sufficient to produce the origin of new functional information. And we're specifically dialed into the presence of the digital code that's stored in the DNA molecule that performs important biological functions. It's, it's information in a very specific technical sense. So we say, we, we show that various natural processes are insufficient to produce these large infusions of information we see arising in the history of life that are necessary to build new forms of life. But then we point out through, from observation of the world around us that we do know of a cause that does produce information. We have independent evidence that intelligent agency, that mind, that creative intelligence can generate information. You and I are doing it right now as we're talking. We're trading notes, trading information. So information is, in our experience, a mind product. We have independent ex experience that minds produce information. And so when we infer an intelligent uh, agent as having acted in the past based on the presence of digital code stored in the macromolecules of life, we're not arguing from ignorance. We're n arguing from our knowledge of cause and effect. And specifically, what we know minds can do namely produce information that merely undirected material processes can't.